You want to get Lightmatica for Minecraft 1.21.5. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. This will take you to Secura's Lightmatica, and they've been updating Lightmatica since the original owner stepped away. This is trusted. You are good to download it, and the official Lightmatica download page on Modernth does update with these versions, but you can get them quicker if you go direct to the source here on GitHub. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be downloading this Lightmatica Fabric 1.21.5 version. You can do that by just clicking on it here, and after a few seconds, it will pop up where you'll need to keep or save the file. It's 100% safe to do that. Once we click save here, the download will begin, and while this is downloading, let's talk about the sponsor of this video and our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server where you can easily play Minecraft mods like, like Matica with your friends as well as any other Minecraft mod you want, and hundreds of mod packs with just one-click install of mod packs and easy server setup overall. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, let's say add a mod, the server's just not working. Well, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ says SGH. Now like Matica has officially downloaded here. You also want to download Molly Lib. Molly Lib is a library mod, Lib, that is required for Lightmatica to work. It's also linked down below on GitHub here where we can download this Fabric 1.21.5 version. Now, both of these that we've downloaded are Fabric versions. That means we need the Fabric mod loader in order for them to work in game. Fabric is basically the mod loader that sits between the mods and Minecraft and makes them work together. So in the description, we have a link to Fabric here. This is our in-depth Fabric guide that covers everything you need to know. But we're going to be covering the basics in this video as well. Go ahead and click down download Fabric here, you go to Fabric's official download page. On this page, go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar link here to download the Universal Jar installer for Fabric. You're going to need to keep or save the file, but it's 100% safe to do that. The reason we're downloading the Universal Jar is because that's going to let you get more Minecraft mods easier in the future. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. We want to move all of these files that we've downloaded to our desktop. So we have the Fabric installer here, we have Molly Lib, and we have Lightmatica, all that we want to move to the desktop. So Lightmatica and Molly Libra are mods. Fabric Installer is the mod loader that makes them work. So we need to start off installing Fabric. Right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and the Fabric Installer will open. Now if the Fabric Installer doesn't open or you don't have Java at all, you need to get Java from the description down below. Specifically, Java 21 is required for Lightmatica 1.21.5, meaning you want to come here and download this version. This guide goes through everything you need to know. You may also need to run the jar fix. It's going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java. But first, get Java 21, then run the jar fix, and then you will be able to open up Fabric. Again, right click Open With Java. Java. Now, once Fabric is open, it's super easy to install. Just make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed. If either are open, this won't work. And if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.5 before, this won't work either. So you need to go play it, open it up to the main menu, and close out of it. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and make sure that's the version that's selected, 1.21.5. Make sure Create Profile is checked, and click Install. There we go. So you can install Fabric Loader 1.21.5. Click OK, close out of the Fabric Installer, and delete it. We don't need it anymore. Now we get to do the fun part, installing Lightmatic into Minecraft. To do that, open up the Minecraft Launcher, and then in the Minecraft Launcher here, go to Installations at the top. Then make sure Modded is checked. If not, there won't be a Fabric installation, but if you check Modded, there it is. If you've got this, awesome. Go ahead and hover over it and click the folder icon. If you don't, go ahead and click New Installation. You can name it anything you want. I'm, of course, going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because it's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the Versions drop-down box here. Then you want to select Release Fabric Loader 1.21.5, right like so. I'm also going to set my game version so we can see once we get in game. And this next part is important. Make sure launch after install is not checked. If it's checked, it will try to launch the game. We don't want to do that. We want to install the mods first. Let's go ahead and launch after install is not checked. Click install. You may get this pop up. Go ahead and click cancel. And now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has Fabric Loader 1.21.5. With that being said, how do we install these mods once you've got the installation? Well, hover over it and click the folder icon that appears. This will open your Minecraft folder where you should have a mods folder. If for whatever reason though you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and create one. Just right click, create a new folder, and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase exactly like that. Open your mods folder and drag and drop any Minecraft mods you want to install. Specifically, we're getting Lightmaticus. So we want to drive and drop Lightmatica and Molly Lib into this mods folder. If Molly Lib doesn't go into the mods folder, guess what? It's not going to work. So you want to make sure both of these are dragged in. We can now close out of the mods folder and play Minecraft either using the fabric installation that was there by default. If you had one, and if you didn't and you made your own, go ahead and play Minecraft using that, and then Minecraft will open up with Lightmatica installed. So here we are in game. What's really cool about Lightmatica is you can use it in a vanilla world, things like that, and completely remove it and still use that world. Since it doesn't add any blocks or anything, 
you can just add it to any world you want without kind of any fear, which is great. However, how do you actually use Lightmatica? Well, we can use a stick. So if we get a stick here, we can right click and left click to make selections. So we made this big block selection here. And then you can actually press M on your keyboard to open this up. And you can do things into like go into the area editor and selection browser and all of that stuff, which is great. And honestly, it's crazy what you can do because if you also have the stick in your hand, hold control on your keyboard and then scroll in the bottom left you will actually see us moving through replace block, pace schematic, grid pace, all this different stuff that you can do. But honestly, this isn't a complete guide on using Schematica. In the description down below though, we have exactly that, an in-depth guide on using Lightmatica that's helped over all 190,000 people, almost 200,000 people have used this to really learn Lightmatica. So go check this out. But nevertheless, at this point, you know how to get Lightmatica in Minecraft 1.21.5. If you've got any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments. And uh, yeah, enjoy Lightmatica. And again, you can press M to open the Lightmatica menu, load schematics, all of that stuff. But we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.